You all are in for a treat. I have a combination nightmare dating profile and audacity is way too high video. So this is your blanket trigger warning. If you are drinking a hot substance, push it to the side. If you are eating anything, please make sure you completely swallow it so you don't get anything stuck in your throat. All right, y'all, let's just jump right into it. Here is a photo of beauty pageant contestants from 1951. Obviously, some slender ladies, pretty ladies wearing swimsuits back in the 50s. This is what they wore. And you had John Evan weighing in. None of them are my cup of tea. John Evan is rejecting women from the 1950s who probably didn't know he existed. Brace yourself. Brace yourself for what John Evans looks like. And this is John Evans. You, you know he was an adult back in 1951. <laughs> And he's still holding on to those scraps of hair that he had back then. But he definitely looks like he, he looks like a raisin, a discolored raisin, <laughs> just been just kind of squished. He's probably been sitting in the couch for a while because, you know, he doesn't really have any real fruit because he ran off his nursing aides assistants or whoever is helping him with his with his cleaning. <laughs> All right. So that's John Evans. Now, I don't know the name of the man that said this, but apparently this woman is feeling herself too much and he had an issue with it and he needed to pull her down, saying, big backs calling themselves sexy is wild crazy, especially when he's looking how he looks with these pat with this patchy beard. This is the kind of beard that looks like a lawn that hasn't been watered a lot, but it looks like dogs have been peeing in it a lot. So spots are there. Um, and I need, I need them to bring it down with the audacity and the nerve, because obviously they are selling out of Amazon for Black Friday or the Dollar Tree or something, because when they look like this, and then they have so much to say about women feeling themselves, it, it really makes me believe that the prices on audacity needs to go up. I don't know who Victor was talking about, but he let us know that this woman was not easy on the eye, just one eye. A bigger picture of Victor with his potato head or vanilla milk dud head self. Maybe he, maybe this is a thumb as well. I don't know. You'll have to weigh in. What do you think Victor looks like? He, he seems like he's smiling, but I bet you he's like five foot three. And that's the reason why he got the attitude as if anyone cares what his one eye thinks about a woman on the internet. Now we have Tom who's 44 and I don't know what he looks like, but this is all that we got in the screenshot. His personality is crap though. He says, I would suspect it's easier to achieve world peace than to find a woman without children or tattoos that doesn't look like the elephant man's ugly sibling. But I still joined despite the odds. If you use pronouns, please go that way. Keep in mind that we have been using pronouns since we were in elementary school. He even used I. <laughs> he, I, I'm sure he totally res, um, refers to himself as a he. They have such an issue with pronouns and it's wild. But the thing is, these men are on these dating apps and they always come out so terrible. Like, why are they so terrible and aggressive and mean spirited? Talking about a woman, um, most of these women are looking like elephant man's ugly sibling. That is so harsh. These men are going to remain single. They're going to remain lonely and they're going to get even more desperate because what, what type of woman will swipe on this person? Please let me know in the comment. Someone asked this question anonymously saying, I'm almost 20 hooking up with a 38 year old man, but I'm also on the chubbier side. I'm Hispanic. So I have hips and a butt, LOL, but my stomach is still there. He doesn't seem to care. My question is, do older men not care about that sort of thing? And then Guillermo Fuentes says, we do, and we settle for it because it's the best sex we can get at the time. That's Guillermo talking about settling. Now, here we have Guillermo. Guillermo looks like he is attempting to dress like Jedediah, the Amish man, but also he's wearing Miss Esther's dainty pearls. And I am just not feeling this. I'm not feeling the no mustache, but having a beard. And this angle where he's down here like this, I hate this angle, but Guillermo's name is now Jedediah, or we need to Latinize it because I am confused. But also, why is he wearing his grandmama's pearl necklace? 
I'm so confused about this look. I'm confused. I hate this look with um, no mustache, but a full beard. It, he really does need his Amish hat to, to top it off. Where the heck are you going, Guillermo slash Jedediah slash Miss Pearl? Miss Esther, I'm sorry. He's wearing Miss Esther's pearls. Let me know where you think Jedediah is going. American Voice of Reason says, maybe you wouldn't feel so emasculated by feminism if your manhood was rooted in something other than oppressing women. Then John says, the Bible says they must serve. <laughs> because the Bible, God, God put us here to be servants. Ah, servants, the wife appliance incubate us to men. We are put on this earth simply to serve men like John. I would rather screw a cactus. John needs to quit playing. Nobody is serving him and he knows it. I, I don't know why, like I said, the audacity is way too high. It's on sale and they have bought it up. And ladies, if you just had a modicum of their audacity, you would go far. Okay, let's get to Glenwood, who's 36. He's also a Christian. He says, I'm from Char Charlotte. Pleasing God will always be my first priority. Now, keep in mind, Glenwood is 36. He says, I have three boys, 16, five, and four years old. So he has a five and a four-year-old and a 16-year-old. So that means that he got somebody pregnant when he was 19 years old. He says, if you don't accept the man as the head, you are not truly family-oriented. Please be STD, STI free and make sure your pH is balanced. Only interested in biologically born women, XX chromosomes, no misandrous. So that's going to X a lot of you all off. <laughs> Selfish women are not wives. 99% of the people using dating apps are below average to slightly above average. The problem is the average woman thinks that they're better than the average man. Most of us are. I'm just saying that, but I'm also a misandrist, so you know, whatever. Or I'm at least tangentially right beside misandrist. And it's because of people like this who just come on here, like you literally got three kids and you're sitting up here making demands that thinking that women are going to come in and let you lead why, what are you leading? What are you showing that you are able to lead anything? And maybe women don't want to be your wife, Glenwood, who's 36. You all let me know. We got Azrael J, who's 26. He says, taking passenger princess applications, requirements at the bottom of the bio. Back on here, newish to Texas, was born here, but grew up everywhere else. Been here for about a year and a half. I'm just trying to meet new people, try new things, explore new places protected my peace a little too much, I can no longer hold a basic conversation and forget how to flirt. F-A-F-O, I guess. Okay, here are the passenger princess requirements. Must give road head when the driver wants it and swallow and quickies. They all just think with their peens and it's just flat out gross. It's just really flat out gross. What, what was that cartoon mouse from like back in the 80s? I, I think that he was wearing a cowboy hat. I feel like this is what Azriel is giving me. Man, what was that mouse's name? <laughs> a Tale Before Time? Is that the name of the cartoon? I don't know. He kind of reminds me of a rodent, but you all will have to wait in. Uh, he probably thinks that he's hitting on something with these light eyes and everything, but that does not make everybody, that doesn't make everybody attractive, as is Azrael J, not looking particularly attractive. All right, I'm going to end with Lester, who's 38. I circled this because it kind of made me chuckle. Reading and writing is what he had in common with the other person. And that was it. He says, show me that shocked face. He says, so let's see if anyone actually read these. I'm laid back. If I'm just trying to F, I would simply say that I'm trying to F. Or let me spit in your mouth, ill, while I tell you good girl. Oh, and FYI, I'm sterile. I'm complex but straightforward. Question. Why post the butt pics, it, but then say no friends with benefits? Just say you not effing unless you cute. Just saying. P.S. This peen ain't free. Ill gross. These people only ever talking about, about sex just is so gross and disgusting, but they don't have any other creativity. You would think that if this man is actually reading books, he would have some creativity, yet here we are. Anyways, join the conversation. Let me know what you think about all of these like, comment, and share.